<laughs> Hi, good evening, Corey Thorne, psychic medium, spiritual healer, and life coach. Coming in to do the channeled message for the month of June 2019. And this one is for my um who's this for? For my Pisces, sorry. <laughs> for my Pisces. And this is a, a general reading. This is not a personal reading. It may not resonate with you. Then if it doesn't, it's not for you this month. You may find something in one of the other messages. If you're cross-watching, that may resonate. And if you're cross-watching this one for, for someone else, then there may be a message for you here as well. Please remember this is to be taken as a form of entertainment and not to replace any medical or psychological advice that you have been given. And the cards that I use when I'm using cards are those of the the interpretation is my interpretation and not that of the people who've created these cards. Their interpretations are in the little booklets that come with them. So I just use them as a validation and a guidance uh, for the channel message that I am receiving. So Pisces, 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 love is in the air. I just keep hearing that song. I just hear like that deep voice, just like love is in the air. It's, it's a sense that there's just a, a pink hearts and love and and happiness and joy for so many of my Pisces. Um, I feel like this is kind of in the beginning of a relationship or in a full-fledged relationship and wanting to take it further, or um, there's some marriages here as well, but also a sense that this is also for my singles. There is some, uh, not some, there's a whole lot of, there's a whole lot of love in the air, a whole lot of, but you, some of you Pisces have to stop being so wishy-washy. You're kind of all over the place. You change your mind like the weather. You have to stop changing your mind like the weather and just have to be understanding and accepting that not everybody is wishy-washy. That you, you have to sometimes make a decision, stick to a decision, but also remember to be playful. And the card that came up is choice. And it's like, choose to live in the truth. And it's like, and this is where that whole playfulness comes in for me. And then the card that also comes up is play. To be young at heart and, you know, kind of beginner mind again. It's going back to that beginner mind. I've been picking up a lot of that lately. And a lot of the channel messages is it's kind of be curious. Um, that whole innocence of, oh, I just didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know I was supposed to be doing this, or I didn't know there. I wasn't allowed to cross that line to go over into that person's part of the yard. Um, kind of tempting fate a little bit, some ways of just like stepping your toe where you're not supposed to be into the sand or going places. Um, but it's also like and giggling at yourself because you know you're you're going too high in the swing or you're. Uh, going too fast on your bicycle or you didn't put your helmet on today that kind of thing it's like i'm just going to be just a little bit on the dangerous side i'm just going to kind of tempt fate a little bit and just try something new and it's going to work out for you it's going to actually serve you very well um and please also remember that you are wonderful and beautiful and for some of my pisces you're questioning your confidence you've been questioning whether or not you're good enough for the person or for the people around you or you're good enough for the job or the or the wherever you're showing up and you're more than enough and it's like this is your life now and you have to live your life in your in your truth and this is where the choice card these are the cards of my dear friend Kate Gongas and these are not out yet but hopefully they will be soon and um, it's amazing how she created a deck of cards that are uh, that are using keys like are in my logo so the golden keys so we're choosing to live a life of truth and for my pisces and it's like you care about everybody and now it's like i'm choosing a life that's for me and i'm going to choose to live a life that's that's based on the kind of person that i am and i'm not always for so much this industrial i want to be a little more carefree i want to be a little more kind of flower child, free energy, like I, I've been so serious for so long and I want to break away from that a little bit for some of my Pisces. Other ones, it's like I'm moving into a job. I want to be structured. I want to be safe and I want to know who I am. And I want to know exactly how much I'm making, exactly where I'm going. It's like I have 
spectrums of everything happening. And it's like, this is because it's your life and you get to choose what you're going to live and the way you're going to live it. And then, and then we have gravity, right? And it's like just being that whole, um, that those choices that you're going to make, those choices that we're making right here of living in your truth and doing and doing what's for you. It's like everything of that, every action has every action has a reaction and everything that we do, we have consequences. And it's like, you are going to be creating your own truth. You're flying high. And it's like when you're, when we're honest with ourselves, so when we're really, really honest with ourselves, when we tell our truth from the bottom of our heart to ourselves, you say, that's not suiting me. This is suiting me. Choosing that kind of go your direction living a life that's aligned to you and not to anyone else and that's why i have lives over here that are like you're going all the way over here you're going all the way over there so you might be two friends two sisters sister brother whatever that are all the same energy mom sister mom and daughter whatever maybe one may love to live this way the other one may live to live this way you're both right and it's totally up to you how you live your life but it's, this is about living in the ah living in playfulness and this is the ah and taking that leap of faith, time to take a leap of faith, time to jump into that love that you've been searching for or that happiness and love that, or that life that you've been wanting. It's like, it's here now, Pisces, don't you blow it. Don't you, don't you lose out on this. And this is like, you're the beginning, the beginning Pisces. Don't you, don't you dare give up an opportunity for happiness. And it might not look like everyone else wanted or you might have to make some changes, but you're taking a big leap of faith and you're taking some risk here, but I feel like there's some rings here, there's some marriage here, there's a bunch of love, and then there's some business investments. The Pisces are going to be, some of my Pisces are going into um, business in a, in a big way, in a big way, and it might not be a huge business, but it's big for you, and that you're just wondering, and so business, might also be a business, it might also be a relationship, but it, it just feels like going into business. We're starting business. I'm going to work with, co-work with people. I'm just going to, starting something big that's life-changing and it just feels like have faith, have faith that things are all working out the, the right way. What is, what can you control? What can you not? But it's like, You've been preparing for this your whole life. And because you have been preparing for this your whole life, don't be afraid to just go for it, Pisces. Take that, just go for it. That's all I see is just go, just fly. It's time to fly. It's time to take, um, take a new direction in life. But also for my Pisces, the full moon. The full moon is telling me the full moon energy is saying around the full moon, just after the full moon, it is time for you to go on an adventure. And that adventure is a travel. It's a trip. And the trip kind of gives you a new perspective on how much time you want to invest into work and how much time you need for downtime and relaxing and for just kind of enjoying the simplicity of life. So my Pisces have been constantly in that place of anxiety, little panic attacks, something happening in here, been struggling to kind of catch your breath sometimes. And you're going to realize that it's all the extra load that you put on yourself or that overthinking of being stuck in your head that keeps you there. Get out of there, go on the trip, live life, enjoy life, um, be a kid, live it to the fullest. And whatever choice you make, it's not a bad choice. And if you're going to live this way or you're going to live that way, it is totally up to you. Enjoy your month of June because July is going to be a busy, busy month for you. You're going to be busy planning, organized, and just getting shit done. So enjoy the chance to be like a kid again for this month of June. Much love to you all my Pisces. Bye-bye.